Hey guys, what is up, and welcome back to Theory of Everything. Today I want to bring you a very interesting topic. It's one that I actually got recommended by Peter, slash Hollyforce, slash Pain, slash his new IGN that he doesn't want released, so I know who you know who I'm talking about. Peter, thank you for recommending this topic, and uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. So my topic for today is Mankind Loves Stories. Now, not people, not like humanity's love stories, like Romeo and Juliet. No, the topic of mankind loves actual stories, like people love to hear stories. From the dawn of time, man has been entertained by fire, sex, and stories. Those three things have pretty much been our Fumba Maroom. Uh, that and food, uh, that too. And we're just going to focus on stories to keep this simple. So why do people tell stories? People want to be understood, they want to portray, they want to tell people about their life, and even if it's a fictional story, every little every author is going to implant a little bit of themselves into the story, and that's why even if two people tell the same story, they're going to be slightly different. So stories are meant to span time greater than a lifetime. People want to be remembered, they don't want to be forgotten. If you think about Shakespeare, he died how many years ago? I don't know. A lot. <laughs> so he died a long time ago, but we still remember him today. We remember a lot of famous writers. Richard Wright uh, wrote Black Boy. Um, other authors. I think Zora Neale Hurston might still be alive, maybe? But anyway, just a bunch of these famous authors people still remember. Obviously, J.K. Rowling is still here. But, I mean, just in general, humans don't want to be forgotten. They want to be remembered. And so you see stories everywhere, whether it's in religion, exaggeration, or hyperbole, like when a little kid tells a lie. He may not be telling a lie, he may just be... I mean, yes, it may not be true, but it's, it's, it's a little kid, A and B, it's, he's just trying to entertain people. You see it in poetry, and like I said before, you see it in Harry Potter. Now, a lot of stories will actually be influenced by other stories. So if you guys have read the series Narnia, that's heavily influenced by the Christian religion. And if you look about it, like Aslan is, might be uh, meant to represent Jesus, and just a whole bunch of other characters are meant to represent other characters. So stories are built off of each other, not trying to, like, only focus on Christianity here. Yes, I'm a Christian, that's not, that's just the story I could remember. My mom told me that when I was a little kid, uh, when I first read Narnia. So I remember that. I wasn't really even that little, I was like 10, but anyway. Uh, so, fiction or non-fiction doesn't matter, like I said before, even the little kids telling something that's obviously a blatant lie. It doesn't matter because people adapt existing stories to their own versions, like I said before. Now, this could be viewed as delusional, but everyone is kind of entitled to their own little delusions. Everyone's entitled to their own fantasies, and whether that involves being with your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, that's your own business. But the point is, everyone's entitled to their own, you know, thought process. And that's just to be more appealing to either themselves or their audiences. And this is important for young children especially, like news reporters talking to the general public. Um, it's just important. Young children need to have things edited for them so that they can either enjoy the story or understand the story. And news reporters talking to the general public need to make things simpler for everyone to understand because not everyone is Einstein. I mean, if the... If those news reporters weren't using first grade, first grade language, I wouldn't understand them, so that's like the important part. Um, and to be honest, like I said before, lies in some sense are stories too. Now obviously some lies are told us to be lies. No mom, I wasn't out late at night, I wasn't going to a party, I didn't have sex, I didn't do anything. Some lies are meant to just be lies, but some are also meant to be stories. And sometimes the person will always come out and say, yeah, this is BS, but I'm just saying. They're meant to be stories. So, what's more important is that everyone has a story, and people want to hear people, hear people's stories. Ask people about themselves, and that will speak volumes about both you to them, and depending on their speaking ability, them to you as well. You get to learn more about other people, you become a more well-versed person, and they see you in a better light as a person that doesn't just talk non-stop like me. I mean, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's actually one of my biggest problems in real life, is that I never shut up. <laughs> that's my biggest problem, if many of you guys haven't noticed yet. But that's just a very important thing to keep in mind. Mankind loves stories, and it's important to continue stories until the end of time. Stories are important. We wouldn't be here without stories. Religion wouldn't be here without stories, and that's how everything gets passed on. Thank you guys for watching. Shadowlands out.